With the calming of the global health situation and opening of ports of entry all across the world, it looks like traveling is soon to be back on the menu as far as vacationing is concerned. But rather than taking a basic trip that is sure to be full of tourists from all over, why not head over to Kenya, which has been designated by many as the jewel of Africa. To be able to make this decision, you'll need to know why Kenya has been held above all other African nations as the vacation spot to be. So whether you're in the process of planning your next holiday or just want to know more about the type of vacation spots that often fly under the radar, you've come to the right place, as we're about to take a look at some of the reasons why you should consider choosing Kenya. Stay right where you are, as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Number one, the presence of the big five. It goes without saying that Kenya is easily one of Africa's greatest wildlife watching destinations, with the country offering everything from wildlife stays to safari rides, which allow you to watch animals as they live in their own natural habitats. This is perfect for the animal lovers out there who hate seeing animals confined in cages. Experts have also said that if you have an interest in studying animals, this should never be done from the confines of a cage, as such a scenario causes the animals to change its patterns of behavior. Either way, watching these animals roam the windy plains of Kenya will make you feel like an explorer of old. It must also be said that going wildlife watching presents viewers with the opportunity of catching a glimpse of the big five. This is a category comprising the most important animals of the African continent, with South Africa even featuring them on the money that use the purchased goods and services. The big five is made up of the African lion, African elephant, Cape buffalo, African leopard, and white or black rhinoceros. Seeing all five in one sitting is incredibly rare and makes quite the story to tell your friends when you get back. According to Lisa Granger of Telegraph Travel, responsible safari operators include the Sahara Camp and Campi Yakanzi, who ensure the protection of the animals their visitors come to view. In her own words, the local people own the camps and all the benefits goes back into their own communities rather than a rich operator's pocket. This will also allow you to witness the greatest migration on Earth between the months of August and October, when more than one million wildebeest travel from the Serengeti in neighboring Tanzania to Kenya's own Maasai Mara. In other words, this is a great way to both view some amazing animals and give back to the community all in one smooth motion. Now that is a responsible adventure if we've ever heard of one. Number two, entry into Kenya is super simple. One of the worst aspects of traveling is ensuring that you have the documentation required to make your way over to and be accepted by the country in question. Visa processes can be horrible to put up with, and it doesn't help that each and every country has its own requirements that need to be met before this visa is officially awarded. Kenya authorities have, however, introduced an electronic visa system, which is really easy to use and allows viewers to get all the information they need, as well as apply in just a few simple steps. It must also be said that British travelers no longer need to apply for entry documents before taking a trip to the country or queue at the airport to get the right number of stamps on their passports. For all other citizens, however, an entry visa costs a measly $51 per person. Just be sure to use the official site of the foreign office to avoid being scammed by fake providers who guarantee faster service at a reduced price. Remember, if the deal seems too good to be true, it's probably fake. Number three, the fastest safaris in the world. Kenya has also been named as the prime destination for those who are interested in spending some time with wildlife for the first time ever. Those of you who have already been on safari hikes and trips will know that this takes quite a bit of time to organize. Safari sites are usually quite a distance from main towns and cities, which means that traveling can be an absolute nightmare and end up ruining what is otherwise an incredible experience. According to Brian Jackman of Telegraph Travels, this is not a problem which someone faces when visiting Kenya. In his own words, if you can catch an overnight flight from Heathrow, you can transfer to a light aircraft the next morning and be in the bush in time for brunch. Time-saving activities such as these are possible in Nairobi because Kenya's safari industry is backed up by an efficient and popular tourist infrastructure. There are also a number of different camps and lodges built for every type of budget. Want a true experience? Then go for the option of renting a tent. Prefer a luxurious experience? Then make sure to book in advance at one of the premium lodges. Either way, you'll be having an insane time with some of the craziest animals you've ever seen. And since Kenya is the first country where safaris were introduced to improve the tourism industry, you can always use the trip as a way of learning some world history. Number four, beach living at its best. 
You'd be mistaken if you thought that Kenya's geography was nothing more than African plains, though, as the country offers a number of fauna and flora spotting adventures along with some of the cleanest beaches you've ever seen. In other words, you can always follow up a tiresome yet enjoyable safari with a couple of days lying face down on the white sands bordering the warm Indian Ocean. You'll find a couple of beach hotels spread across the coast, which are by far the best way to experience beach living in Kenya. This is especially true if you want more than relaxation, as a number of these vacation spots offer everything from water sports to cocktails delivered straight to your lounger. Suffice it to say, Kenya can be your own little island paradise if you let it. Number 5. Birds by the Millions Since Kenya has more than 1,000 recorded bird species ranging from flamboyant pink flamingos to the smallest of multicolored chirping flutterers, it is definitely the place to be if you are interested in bird watching. There is nothing more majestic than watching flamingos in their natural habitat, and now is most definitely the time to see them as nobody really knows for how much longer they're going to be around. You see, the majority of this species of bird has actually been pushed from Lake Nakuru because of the industrialization and rising water levels. They can now be found at Lake Begoria, which covers around 32 square kilometers, but since industrialization is looming and sea levels continue to rise, they might have to move once more. Lake Naivasha is also a great spot to hit and features everything from golden-winged sunbirds to superb starlings. You might even witness one of the many fish eagles on site, dive down for some dinner, which is an experience all on its own. It won't surprise you to hear that you don't even have to like birds or be interested in the various species Kenya has to offer to actually enjoy these activities. There is, after all, something relaxing and surreal about being surrounded by nature, and nothing says this better than watching a group of chirping birds fly off after the intense roar of a male lion. Number 6. The Opportunity to Sleep Under the Stars Stargazers will also find a place of relaxation in Loisaba Lodge, which is set within a 61,000 acre reserve far from any light pollution that might affect the skyline. So grab your telescopes and book a private hut 20 minutes away from the main building of the lodge, where the beds available can be wheeled out into the open for a true but comfortable experience of sleeping under the stars. And if the universe doesn't catch your fancy or the weather makes it impossible to separate the moon from the stars, open your ears and listen for passing game, which has a tendency of passing through the huts. There is nothing that makes you feel closer to nature than watching a gazelle roam the wild from the comfort of your bed. You will also awake the next morning to the smell of greenery and sounds of nature, bearing witness to one of the most incredible sunrises you've ever laid eyes on. And since this makes for an incredibly romantic experience, consider visiting the lodge when you're trying to figure out how to pop the question to your significant other. There are quite a few packages available to help you out in this regard, but not much is needed with that incredible view in the background. Number 7. Mount Kenya Although not as famous as its Tanzanian sister, Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Kenya is just as intense to look at. And when it comes to climbing the beast, it is actually considered to be even more challenging than taking on Kilimanjaro. Mount Kenya sits in its own national park and is surrounded by the most beautiful fauna and flora you have ever seen. The highest of the mountains, Three Peaks, rises to just under 5,200 meters. But we must admit that the climb itself is quite technical and can only be reached by those who have been trained in mountaineering. That being said, even the lowest of the three summits offers incredible panoramic views of the plains and savannas below. When descending, the opportunity often arises to take in the sights of an African elephant, black rhino, cape buffalo, Columbus monkey, or giant forest hog doing the very same, which is an incredible experience, considering how narrow foothills of the range may be at points. Number 8. A Piece of History Last but not least, Kenya as a country has some incredible pieces of history attached to it, so those who love the prospect of poking around old ruins should take a trip over to the former town of Gedi, near Kenya's coast. Although the Swahili town reached the epitome of its existence in the 15th century, it had its origins back to the 12th century and is surrounded by evidence of mosques, a magnificent palace, and of course, many smaller homes. The town is also surrounded by 45 acres of primeval forest, which makes it a spooky trip if you're a fan of environmental horror movies. These are only some of the incredible things you could do in Kenya. Did we miss out on your favorite experience? Feel free to let us know in the comment section down below.